Thank you for joining us again on News Now. I am Frank Kovalape, National Vice Chairman, Northwest of the Ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, Salihu Mo Lukman, has raised alarm over the activities of aspirants for the leadership of the 10th National Assembly, who he accused of bribing the party's National Working Committee. Uh, he further stated that the likes of rice, sugar, and several other things have been used for bribery. And in the meantime, the House of Representatives members elect of the People's Democratic Party, the Labour Party, and other opposition parties have formed an alliance ahead of the inauguration of the 10th National Assembly with the aim of determining the leadership of the parliament. Against the background of the moves by the ruling All Progressive Party to zone the House leadership, the opposition lawmakers insisted that they have the numbers to override the APC's plans and do whatever they want. The lawmakers elect met in Abuja on Tuesday night where they fine-tuned strategies for using their numbers as bargaining power in the negotiations with the speakership as parents. And of the Lagos State Magistrate Court in Yaba on Wednesday ordered that the Eze Igbo of Ajawa State, Frederick Wajago, be remanded at the Ikoi Correctional Center. Wajago was arrested last Saturday following a viral video in which he threatened to invite members of the indigenous people of Biafra to Lagos to secure properties of Igbo people living in the state. The 67-year-old was arraigned on Wednesday before the magistrate court presided over by P.E. Nwaka. The police charged him with two counts bordering on misconduct and intention to cause a breach of peace in Lagos State. The former police prosecution team led by the O.C. Ligu Yetinde Kadoso told the court that Nwajaku committed the offense on March 26, 2023 at number 2 Akim Shitu Street at Jawa State Lagos. And now the candidate of the Labour Party in the February 25 presidential election, Peter B. has said, leaked audio of an alleged conversation between him and the founder of Living Faith Church Worldwide, Bishop David Oyedepo, is fake. The audio allegedly had to be telling Oyedepo that the presidential election was a religious war and that the clergyman should help him beg people in the southwest and quarrel state, especially Christians to support his ambition. Reacting Obi in a statement uh, he personally signed on Wednesday said at no point in his issue-based campaign did he ever refer to the election as a religious war. He also lamented alleged attempt by the ruling All Progressive Congress to divert attention. ProMad Foundation, a civic tech non-profit organization, has called for the domestication of the National Youth Policy NYP 2020 to 2023 by the remaining 34 states for effective youth civic participation. Mr. Daisy Omokungwe, founder and executive director of ProMad Foundation, made a call at a news conference to launch a research policy memo on accelerating youth civic participation and development. He said only Lagos and Rivers have domesticated. Omokungwe said that the research launched by ProMad Foundation was, leap, uh, was with support from Leap Africa and the Nigeria Youth Futures Fund in Abuja. He said that the call for nationwide domestication of the NYP was imperative following the implementation of the Foundation's Accelerating Youth Civic Participation and Development AYCP project in Abuja. He said that the project was a youth component of the Foundation's grassroots advocacy project that focused on community needs assessment for budget making, enhancing citizens' opportunities to nominate projects that meet the needs of their communities into the budget. Mokungwe said that the policy memo examined youth civic participation and development in the nation's capital. It assessed youth-related issues and grouped the findings into three major categories. Away from the now, the Zafara State Command of the Nigeria Security Civil Defense Corps has arrested three persons in connection with fake currency worth two million naira. Parading the suspect, the command's public relations officer, Iko Uche, said the call uh, arrested the suspect for being involved in printing 
minting and circulating fake Naira and dollar notes to the public, which is said Kamalu Sani, 28, Suleiman Yusuf, 29, and Uzaifa Mozu, all of Safi local government area, were arrested in Guso on April 3 while trying to pay for transport fare to a Kekena Pep rider with a fake thousand Naira note. The NAPEP operator was able to identify the currency to be fake and raised an alarm, which led to the arrest of the uh, culprit. And according to the command, investigations revealed that Kamal Usani has been indulging in the business for one year. He confessed to having been introduced to the illicit act by one Ado Gugu of the Safi local government area, who took him to one Mozu Abdukarim of uh, Huata Kwashi village. You should say Kamalo admitted that Mozu Abdul Karim was the person who supplied the fake currency note and that each thousand naira fake note was exchanged for 400 naira only. The operatives of the call traced the supplier to Kwatakwashi village where the prime suspect Mozu Abdul Karim was at large directed his son, Uzefa Mozu, who has been in the illicit trade with the father to open a box that contained fake currency, both in naira and dollars for supplies to the suspect. He, however, said that 17,000 naira of the fake currency was recovered from Kamalu Sani during his arrest. He confirmed that Zaifa Mozu, who was a son of the prime suspect Mozu Abdul Karim, confessed that his father had been in the illicit act for more than three years. He added that he got the fake monies from Kano in the company of one Adu Guju, which he said the commandant, uh, Mohammed Mozu, however, advised the general public to be wary of a mischievous set of people. He said that the cause had beamed its such light on the mischief makers. And now air travelers across the country will have to seek alternative means of transportation following the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAN, denying petroleum marketers access to various airports over incremental tariffs. Access restrictions started Thursday at the Abuja airport and plans are underway to extend it to other airports managed by FAN. Nigeria has 32 airports, 26 of which are operated by the FAN, five of which are functional international airports. It also has a state-owned airport located in Akwaibom State. It was gathered that the airport authority is currently restricting access to all fuel marketers. It was gathered that the reason being that they instituted a 100% increment in apron pass charges and required them to pay urgently. At the time of the report, no petroleum marketers have been allowed into the apron, so not few vendors. An authoritative source within the sector said that the marketers were not informed of any tariff review before now. Former President Tulusha Gombasanja has reached into the Central Criminal Court Old Bailey, London, pleading for leniency for the former Deputy Senate President, Senator K. Kwaramadu, and his wife, Beatrice, who uh, were convicted of organ trafficking. The Kwaramadus were on March 28 convicted by the UK court after their trial on the allegation that they lured a young man from Nigeria to the UK for the purpose of harvesting his kidney for their daughter, Sonia, who needed a kidney transplant. Following the guilty verdict by the UK court, the Equimados are said to be at risk of being sentenced to 10 years imprisonment by the provisions of the Modern Slavery Act 2015 of the United Kingdom. The court deferred their sentence until a later date. Obasanjo, in a later dated April 3, an address to the chief clerk of the court pleaded to the United Kingdom to tamper justice with mercy. Obasanjo, in the letter, also described the Equimado as a God-fearing politician whom he said he had known for over two decades.